In this example, we're going to graph a line given to us uh, in point-slope form by the equation y plus 2 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 1. So since it's in point-slope form, there are two pieces of information that we're going to glean from this equation. It will be a point and then the slope. So the slope we know is going to be this value in front of our parentheses, and that's going to be 3. So I can say m equals 3. Or in, in our case, you're 3 over 1 if you like it to be a fraction for the rise over run. And then our point that we're going to be dealing with, the x-coordinate is 1, and the y-coordinate is negative 2. Uh, because recall that uh, in point-slope form, the general equation is y minus y1, and then for our x's is x minus x1. So the formula has subtraction signs here, uh, which means we need to change the sign when we grab the value out of there. So x minus 1, so our x is a 1, and then our y is going to be a negative 2. So our starting point is 1, negative 2, and we're going to use the slope, 3 over 1, which is rise over run. So positive 3 and then positive 1. Positive 3, positive 1. Let's do that one more time. Similarly, we could go down 3 and back to the left 1, because that would be a negative 3 and a negative 1. And those two negatives would uh, cancel each other out to give us this positive 3 that we see up here. So let's go ahead and grab our straight edge. Let's go ahead and graph this line. So here is the graph of the line given to us by the equation in point-slope form y plus 2 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 1.